Julius Schreck, born on the 13th of July, 1898, in Munich, Bavaria, played a significant role in the early days of the Nazi party and became a close confidant of its leader, Adolf Hitler. His journey through the ranks of the Nazi movement and his pivotal role in the formation of the Schutzstaffel SS are a testament to his dedication and loyalty to Hitler's cause. Early Life and World War I Service Schreck's life was shaped by the tumultuous times of the early 20th century. He served in the German army during World War I, experiencing firsthand the horrors of war. After the war's conclusion, Schreck found himself drawn to right-wing paramilitary units, setting the stage for his eventual involvement with the Nazi Party. Joining the Nazi Party in 1920, Schreck became one of the early members of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, Nazi Party or NSDAP, joining as member number 53. It was during this time that he struck up a close friendship with the charismatic Adolf Hitler, who would soon become the leader of the party. The birth of the SA Schreck played a crucial role in the formation and development of the Sturmabteilung SA, also known as the Storm Detachment. This paramilitary wing of the Nazi party was responsible for various tasks, including disrupting political opponents and providing security. In 1923, as the SA continued to grow, Hitler recognized the need for a specialized bodyguard unit dedicated to his personal protection. Schreck was appointed as the commander of this unit, initially known as the Staff Guard, or Stabswash. Under Schreck's leadership, the unit adopted the iconic Totenkopf, Death's Head, insignia, symbolizing their elite status. The Beer Hall Putsch The infamous Beer Hall Putsch of 9 November 1923 saw the Stostrup Hitler, Shop Troop Hitler, led by Schreck and other paramilitary units, attempting to seize control of Munich in a coup. The putsch ultimately failed, leading to the imprisonment of Hitler, Schreck, and other Nazi leaders at Landsberg prison, and the official disbandment of the Nazi party and its affiliated formations. The rise of the SS After Hitler's release from prison in December 1924, he set about rebuilding the Nazi party. In 1925, Hitler entrusted Schreck with the task of organizing a new bodyguard unit, the Schutzkommando, Protection Command. This elite unit, composed of loyal ex-soldiers, would later evolve into the Schutzstaffel, Protection Squadron or SS, on 9 November 1925. Schreck became SS member number 5 and commanded the bodyguard company. Though he never used the title himself, Schreck would later be retroactively referred to as Reichsführer SS. Schreck's Role and Legacy Schreck's tenure as commander of the SS was short-lived, as he stepped down in 1926, handing over leadership to Joseph Birchtold. The title of Reichsführer SS was later given to Birchtold. However, Schreck remained a loyal member of the SS and continued to serve as Hitler's private chauffeur until 1934. Tragically, in 1936, Julius Schreck fell ill with meningitis and passed away on the 16th of May. His death deeply affected Hitler, who was known to be distraught by the loss of his close confidant. Schreck's final rank was SS Brigadeführer, a high-ranking position equivalent to that of a general major in the Wehrmacht. He was accorded a Nazi state funeral, and Heinrich Himmler, head of the SS, referred to him as Adolf Hitler's first SS man. Julius Schreck's early involvement with the Nazi party, his instrumental role in the SA and SS, and his unwavering loyalty to Hitler make him a significant figure in the history of the Nazi movement, remembered as the first SS man and a trusted companion to the party's leader. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.